let's get it chocolate. Throw the game when I walk into my block list. Got my ex trying to put me on a. The Monstro! LAFC have just been Zlatan. Welcome to Major League Soccer. Take a bow. I'm ready to kick it. Give me the step, but you know I'm a flip it. Right in this shit like I'm Demony Snicket. If she looking back. It's no surprise how Zlatan Ibrahimovic continues to score these acrobatic goals. It's important to have good range of motion for a footballer to help increase performance such as power for your kicks and flexibility to reduce your chance of injury. So here are four stretches you should start implementing today. What's up team, it's Coach Abraham back at you with another video. The first stretch that we're going to begin with is the squat progression. This one is one of my favorites as it's great for opening up the hips, acquiring that squat position pattern which can lead to better range of motion so you can properly add more load during a front or back squat. Here's a comparison of two athletes squatting. You tell me which one looks more ideal. Areas where you might feel it the most include the inner thigh, groin, lower back and ankles. Next up is the rear foot elevated quad hip flexor stretch. Remember, if you want to be able to do something like this safely, you need to hammer down these stretches. This is a simple quad hip flexor stretch, and to get the most out of it, you want to squeeze the glutes because as one muscle tightens, the other one's going to relax. The hip flexor is a muscle that footballers tend to hurt really easily, so make sure you're hammering these down. If you're interested in an advanced challenging bodyweight strength and speed program using no equipment, I just released a program that covers all the essential aspects for footballers. It's perfect for a small backyard or even a field as you only need a small space like you see on the screen. Head over to my Instagram right now if you're ready to take your game to the next level and send me a DM. Next up is the fire hydrant plus leg extension. This is a key one I've seen most athletes struggle with but with a consistent routine, I'm confident you can improve your tissue range. This one is great for gaining better range of motion in the medial glute, which is a muscle used for everything when changing direction and sprinting. Make sure you don't allow any rotation through the hips and push through the discomfort. If you feel like you are really struggling with this one, what you could do beforehand is grab a lacrosse bar and do a muscle massage around that area to help loosen up that muscle. And the final stretch is the frog stretch. As we all know, the groin area are the muscles that consistently get tight and players get injured from very often. After a couple reps, what you can do is open up your hips even further so you can better feel that stretch. Make sure you are opening up with every stretch so you are always attacking those tight areas. Remember team, in order for these to be really effective, you need to be consistent with them. Doing it once a week really isn't going to do you much, so make sure you are constantly doing it and progressing. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, drop a comment if you have any questions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more high quality content just like this. And I'll see you then.